And a lot of people don't realize that there are more neurons in your intestine than there are in your central nervous system, which is why the side effect of those antidepressant medications are all constipation, diarrhea, stuff like that. So you want to rebalance the vestibular system. That's great. You go through all the asymmetric loading and everything else. I've got a couple of buddies that do really well at that. My buddy Chad Prusmack, for example, who's the he does um, uh, uh, head trauma for the Denver Broncos. So you know, talk about guys that use their head as a stopping <laughs> agent, right? But um, but he talks about, you know, when we, when we talk neurology, I saw him a couple of weeks ago, when we talk neurology, you can do all these vestibular trainings, get these premier athletes really doing what they're supposed to, but you've got to have the underlying biochemistry settled out. So weirdly enough, it's like, you know, and we kind of agree the blood brain barrier and the gut barrier are made out of the same neurologic, the same tissue. It's evolved from the same tube. Um, so as you develop as an embryo, it's like this is on one side and that's on the other. But you can induce, for example, leaky gut by head trauma and vice versa. You got problems in the gut. It'll cause leaky blood brain barrier. Now the brain's inflamed and, you know, you can start cranking on that all you want with vestibular training. They just, you know, it doesn't take because, you know, the problems down south.